Minnesota boasts a wealth of natural resources, but it takes more than good soil to grow an agriculture industry. Greenseam is compiling the State of Agriculture report based on surveys and focus groups from across the food and ag sectors. I'm very excited to host or to, to facilitate the State of Ag report each year, which is a built upon a survey and focus groups to really capture time here for the entire supply chain of the food and ag industry from the farmers through manufacturers and the professional services to go, what's, what's on your minds? And we a little bit let them tell us in the focus groups of what is their biggest concern, what's their biggest challenges. Ziegler says among the strengths of the ag sector in southern Minnesota and northern Iowa is its diversity. Our, our area is so unique within a cluster um, that we don't have one town that has it all. We don't have one county that has it all. We have sugar beets in Renville County and we got pea and sweet corn processing in Waseca County and tractors in Jackson. But we also have a ton of manufacturers that are in the background that you would never know that are fabricating, you know, parts for the next you know, they might be doing something from NASA to the farm. And then you have box makers and packaging companies and we have accounting firms and they all have expertise within this food and ag sector that make us so strong that sometimes we overlook. Ziegler says among the areas of opportunity that have been identified in previous surveys was the need for talent development. As a result, several institutions have added agricultural majors and ag-related training. Similarly, the 2022 report will be used to identify gaps and opportunities in the ag supply chain. And we're hoping that um, we're going to see some really good things that we can Green Seam can use and we can take to keep, continue to be going in the right direction for our organization. But we also see these results as really important for our state legislators, for our local legislators. Um, and for other entities, ag organizations or community organizations to go, what, what is limiting our growth or what is going to help our growth? The State of Agriculture report will be released on National Ag Day later in March. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.